Alright guys, so here's the comparison review of the Seastern S434 and the San Martin SN0007X, both of which are homages of the CQ. So they go about this in different ways. There's actually quite a few differences between the two of these. So I'm going to go over them all in this video, starting with the dimensions, and then we'll go over actual features and different bits and pieces. But you can probably see just by looking at them, there's quite a few differences. So let's get right into it. First off, when it comes to the dimensions, we've got the diameter. So the diameter of the C-stern is 39mm. If you include the bezel, it's 395 whereas the San Martin is 37mm, but if you include the bezel, it's 379 when it comes to the thickness, they're both 12.8mm, but they do go about this in different ways. So the cases are actually different shapes and the crystals are different as well. So they get to that same 12.8mm, but they do it a very different way. I'll quickly show you what that looks like now. So the C's turn, you can see we've got a fairly chunky case and an ever so slight curve on that crystal. And then when it comes to the San Martin, Straight away you can see we've got a far slimmer case, but we've got that kind of box dome style crystal. So, as I say, they've gone about it in very different ways, but got to the exact same thickness, which is interesting. When it comes to the lug width, they're both 20mm. Then we get onto the lug to lug. So the C stern is 45.9, whereas the San Martin is coming in at 46.5, which is interesting with it being the smaller diameter, it's got the slightly longer lug to lug but it's also got a bit of a difference when it comes to the bracelets the way the end links work so the san martin has got slightly protruding center links so that it's got an effective lug to lug closer to 50 mil whereas the c stern has a proper female end link so the actual end link to end link measurement is the same as the lug to lug so it's more compact than the smaller diameter san martin when it comes to the weight the C stern is coming in at 143 grams with all links included. Size for my 7 inch wrist coming in at 135. Whereas the San Martin with all links included is coming in at 149. And then size for my 7 inch wrist is coming in at 144. So again, slightly unexpected that the smaller watch is also the heavier watch. This could be down to the difference in bracelets. But there might be a few other factors as well that we haven't touched on just yet. But we'll keep going through this and see what we get. So now let's get onto the dials and see how they differ. Obviously you're going to know one of the main differences which is the indices being applied on the C stern whereas the San Martin they're just printed but there's other differences too. So let's get a look at them side by side and talk about them. So you can see the size difference straight away and as I said the difference in the bracelets. So there's a more noticeable taper on the bracelet on the C stern compared to the San Martin. And if we take a look at the side profiles, you can see the difference in the case shape and size that I mentioned earlier. The lugs on the San Martin are quite a bit longer than those of the C stern. So it will wear a bit larger on wrist despite being a smaller diameter watch. Another difference is that the San Martin has got drilled lugs, whereas the C stern hasn't. Another big difference that jumped out straight away to me as well was the crown size. Despite the C-stern being bigger, it's got a considerably smaller crown than the San Martin. So now let's get a closer look at these dials and talk about them in a bit more detail. Starting with the C-stern, so you can see straight away those really nice applied indices. As well as that date window at the 3 o'clock. So the San Martin doesn't have either of them, which I'll show you now. And then the San Martin in contrast with the fully printed dial. So obviously not going to be as good with the loom on the dial at least. So now let's check out how the bezels comparing these two. So we start with the C-Stern. So this has got a 120 click ceramic bezel. Really nice clicky bezel there. And as I say, it's 120 click. When it 
when it comes to the alignment. That's spot on as well. But we have got a little bit of bounce back on this. It's not actual play because it will flick straight back, but it does bounce a little bit. So something to be aware of. And then when it comes to the San Martin in contrast, with this one, we've got a 90 click ceramic bezel insert. So again, that is another difference with this one. Slightly different sound to that click as well. But they are both good. And again, this one is nicely aligned. The main difference being there's no back play, no bounce in this one at all. Now let's talk about the case backs on these. So with the c stone, we've got a display case back, which you can see there. And you can see we've got an NH35. This is another big difference between this and the San Martin. The San Martin comes with a PT5000, which is a high beat movement. So depends which one you prefer. When it comes to the clasps, they both have on the fly adjustment, but they go about it quite differently. Two slightly different mechanisms. So I don't know if it's just me, but I struggle a little bit to open this one on the C stone takes quite a bit of force and maybe it's because I've got short nails I can't quite push that down but overall I just think it feels a little bit less refined than the one on the San Martin perhaps I just got unlucky or perhaps that is just the way it is it just takes a bit more effort now with the San Martin in comparison you can see you've just got to push that button in and then it glides quite easily doesn't take anywhere near as much force and you can see the actual way they've done it is slightly different this is more of like a notched kind of centre section whereas the C-stone is more of a ratcheting bit along the side now let's compare the loom on both of these see how they differ so straight away you can see there's a bit of a difference already but let's charge them up give them a proper chance and there we go so the c stern has got a fully loomed bezel, whereas the San Martin has just got that loom pip. Also, because of the distortion you get from the crystal on the San Martin, you can see that's reflecting on the inside. So it gives a nice little effect to it. But if I had to pick one over the other, I think the c stern is probably the better bet, in terms of loom anyway. Especially when it comes to the loom on the indices and those numbers. Because they're applied and not just printed like on the San Martin, it's far more service area for loom, so it's just got a lot more in there, and it does last a lot longer as well. When it comes to the hands, they're a bit closer. But again, because you've got the larger hands, because you've got the larger dial on the c stern, again, there's just a bit more surface area to actually be able to apply loom to it. So it just edges the San Martin in terms of the hands. But obviously, as I said, the rest of the dial is just going to last longer. And obviously we've got that bonus of the bezel being done too. Which doesn't last as long as the indices, as you'd expect. But it still hangs on a decent amount of time. So in terms of loom, between the two, the C stern definitely beats the San Martin in this case. So all that's left to do now is show you what they're both like on wrist. Go over the prices and then we'll see which one you prefer. Which one you want to pick up. So we'll start with the San Martin. This is what it looks like on my 7 inch wrist. So straight away you can see that pretty long lug to lug and especially end link to end link measurement means it is on the limit of what I'd wear on a 7 inch wrist. Anything below that you're probably not going to be able to pull this one off I don't think. In comparison the C stern despite it being the bigger diameter watch it's got a far more compact case and obviously with those proper female end links it just wears a lot nicer on wrist. And it also has that added bonus of the more dial presence because it is a bigger dial. And the big thing, obviously, with this one is that you've got those applied indices. When it comes to issues, the unreal one I've got is this clasp. Perhaps I got a bit unlucky, or maybe it's just not as refined as the San Martin one just yet. I'd like to know if anyone else has got one of these. Let me know what your clasp is like on yours. Is yours the same? Do you find it a little bit tough? Or did I just get unlucky, as I say? So what are the prices with these two? With a C stern, it's one hundred and ninety nine dollars, one hundred and fifty seven pound, one hundred and eighty three euros. The San Martin, on the other hand, is three hundred and seventeen dollars, two hundred and fifty pounds, two hundred and ninety one euros. So a pretty significant difference between the two. But again, one has an H thirty five, 
the other has the PT5000. So the question is, after seeing all the differences between these two, which one would you be going for? Let me know down in the comments. Hopefully this was helpful guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.